Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So, I haven't made a CCP video in quite a while. Uh, a couple of reasons for that. Uh, mainly, Kabam started making their own deep dive videos, so I didn't really need to make a video showing everybody the new champions that were coming out going over their abilities and that sort of thing because Kabam has that covered. And I noticed a steep drop in the viewers when I was making those videos after the deep dive started coming out. So uh, I decided not to continue uh, that series, but I'll still make uh, videos here and there um, of that same nature. But we have a new patch coming out. Uh, version 34 and these are the release notes and there is something in here that has me uh, excited So I wanted to make this video for you guys and talk about it a little bit. Okay So let's go ahead and go through these uh, release notes. This is currently under embargo So you will see this video once the embargo is lifted Okay, so X-Men the last word it's our March event quest. So that's the event quest for the month of March. I'm not going to read all of that. We've got Captain Britain. Interesting. Elizabeth, Betsy, product. Okay. You guys can read that on your own. We also have Omega Sentinel. Now, if you guys remember, Omega Sentinel was one of the options that Kabam had uh, us vote on. You know, we had a series of, of champions and the people voted as to who they wanted to see in the game the most. They had a winner. It was not Omega Sentinel. But Kabam did say that it didn't mean that those champions weren't coming. It just had to do with their priority. So the one we voted on, that was the one that was coming next. But the other ones were still on their radar to bring into the game at some point in time. Well... Here's Omega Sentinel. That's going to be interesting. I'll be very curious to see how uh, she pans out. I, I don't have any information currently um, to share with you guys about Omega Sentinel or Captain Britain, but it looks like they are coming. Prime Sentinel reprogramming. This event quest is sure to pose a challenge to summoners of all skill levels. Interesting. The Sentinels have scoured the web to detail the finest training program devised by some of the devious minds of your own reality. Can you overcome the challenges put forth, or have they already bested you? This quest was created in collaboration with some very passionate summoners. Special thanks to Cat Murdoch, go Cat, Royal, Starfighter, go Starfighter, Dragon, go Star, I mean, uh, sorry, Go Dragon, uh, Padme, go Padme, and Lizer, go Lizer. Uh, Royal, go Royal. I think I missed Royal. Okay, let us uh, continue here. Act 7, Chapter 4 will come. Kingdom come. Whoa. I am still working my way through 7.2 right now. I just was not motivated. And uh, I've gotten a little bit done. I'll try to do a little bit more. Um, but I'm, I'm kind of slow playing it. But it's fun. It's not because it's boring or anything. It's just I just hadn't had a lot of motivation. But it's coming. It's coming. Okay, so here we go. Here's some uh, updates. Crystal clear. The Catalyst Vault is open, replacing the Class Catalyst Quests that were tied to each day of the week. You guys know those quests, right? It's been a long time since I did one of those. The Catalyst Vault offers a similar, similar level of challenge, but allows summoners to select a class catalyst of their choosing as a reward. That is really nice. So instead of you needing a tech, but then you look up and go, oh, but tech is not today. We have to wait you know, a couple of days for the tech, you will have that available all the time. You get to select 
your tech. I like that. That is a very nice um, upgrade. Okay. Now, Karina's challenges. Now, I I'm going to tell you right now, I am not a big fan of the Karina challenges. I, I just didn't like that type of content. Okay, I've done a few of them. I may or may not ever do all of them, but I know a lot of people like them, okay? Now, the first sentence is back with a new set of even more difficult challenges. See, how I define difficult and how they define difficult, I already know is different because those Karina challenges, to me, weren't so much difficult as boring. Going through Labyrinth of Legends with Star-Lord as a four-star? Really? That's supposed to be difficult? No, it's boring. You're going to use your resources and get through it. So the only difference is how many resources you use versus someone else. If you're skilled, you'll use less resources. See, I, I, I just don't like that, okay? Um, but anyway, new Karina challenges will come. So, yeah. Uh, I'm not going to even pretend to be, uh, excited about that. All right. Now, here we go. Here's where I'm excited. New features and improvements. Arena quick fill. New one button press to add your top three available champions based on your current filters to your arena team. That is huge to me. Now, I'm a hardcore arena grinder, and I had a couple of concerns. One was whether it was going to be optional, because I didn't want them to just put that in so that it always did that, because sometimes I use the synergy screen to select my favorite team when I'm doing my arena grind, and I didn't want anything to interfere with that. But that one button, the way that they're going to implement it is that the button will be um, where the new uh, challenge or find challenge is, I think. And it's going to have the option. So you can either press it or not press it. If you press it, then it'll add your top three available champions. You don't press it. You can select your champions as you want. OK, the other issue that I was concerned with was whether it was going to honor the filters, because honestly, if it didn't honor the filters, I wasn't going to be using it very much at all, because that meant that I would be running my five stars. And it would want to fill in my six stars. And that was not going to be good. Well, during a live stream, Kabam Zero, who uh, implemented this, actually visited and answered that question and said, yes, it will honor the filters. So there you go. And you can see right here in the wording based on your current filter. So that means if you filter and you're only seeing your five stars, that is the top three of your five stars that will be loaded in. And same thing with the six stars. So I like that. Now, there's some room for uh, other options and things like that. I know some people were uh, mentioning some things they would like to see with that, but I like it. That I'm excited about. That has the ability to really speed things up uh, for me, especially. Uh, now, I do have teams that I like to go through, but at a certain point, the uh, teams are, are used and I just want to grab the next three and that's all I want to do. So that's going to help me out. Now this next one, pre-fight quality of life improvements added a quit button to the pre-fight screen and increased the size of the info panel to display more information at once. I want to see that. Um, it, it is a quality of life improvement, uh, but I need to see it. Uh, to get a, a better understanding of how it's going to really affect me, because I don't believe I uh, quit very often uh, or want to quit very often at that time, but we'll see. Now, champion update. Psycho Man, who I do not like, um, has received a buff. Okay. 
we'll see if it makes him uh decent i, I just i just didn't like him uh increased guillotine's regeneration to three percent of all damage taken by opponents now during my live stream i mentioned this and i remembered reading it but i couldn't remember where i read it okay so um when guillotine was buffed a lot of people didn't like that buff and said it made her worse and i remember that they were talking about doing this but i thought they had already done it but they hadn't they were just talking about it on the forums and and, and so forth okay so that is an update and i don't know whether that's going to make guillotine back to the way she was better than the way she was time will tell now check this out this is huge this has made so many of us reluctant to open up six stars for fear that we were going to pull a champion that we had just recently taken to sig 200 okay while it is no small task to max out the signature level of a six star some mighty summoners have done just that i'm one of them starting with version 34.0 we will be rewarding a six star max signature ability crystal when a maxed out six star champion is duplicated this is huge this is something they have not done before if you follow how they've done all the other crystals when you had a five star crystal and you had your five stars and there were no six stars in the game if you duplicated a sig 200 five star you didn't get anything you couldn't get six star shards you didn't get anything so this is a departure and a very welcome one one that we have been asking for for a very long time i love this but they're going a little bit further we'll also be sending summoners who have already duplicated a max signature ability six star champion in recent months any earned six star max signature ability crystals we plan to deliver these crystals to eligible players by april 2022 now i don't know what in recent months means but I know I have duplicated a SIG 200, but I don't remember when. So it's just gonna depend on how far back they go. But I'm just happy to see this. Even if I don't get a max signature ability crystal, I'm happy to see this, okay? So beautiful, beautiful. And finally, and I'm probably one of the only people you know, I know there's, there's others, but I'm one of the only people, few people that love this section. I love this section. I am a programmer. Uh, I haven't programmed in a little bit, but um, I had over 30 years of experience. So bug fixes, I often was the one tasked with fixing bugs in some software and making improvements to existing software. So this section has always been a section that I, I, you know, gravitated towards. All right, so corrected quantum surge node description to indicate that it provides 1% of max power and not 2%. Okay, just a description change. Fixed an issue where overseers, always active ability description didn't include immune to nullify fate shield and stagger. Okay, another, um, uh, info change. Fixed an issue where Guardian was missing information on his ability change. Okay. Fixed an issue where Call Obsidian was missing information on his ability change. So these are all, um, I would say, the technical writer, not really programming changes, but um, I guess it depends on how they do it. Move Dr. Voodoo's energy resistance while blocking to the passive header. I noticed that as well. I actually did notice that. Okay. Fixed synergy formatting issues for Kingpin and Abomination. Okay. All right. So I'm looking at this and it looks like those were grouped. So all of those that I just mentioned are mainly text changes. Okay. Now, Black Widow, Deadly Origin, um, SP3, Sabotage, and Evade Debuffs will no longer stack. I can't say I really noticed it. I don't use her that much. 
Uh, fixed an issue where Spider-Man stealth suit pre-fight abilities mentioned slow multiple times. Okay, that that looks like it's also um, a text. Fixed an issue where Hood was not triggering a cult equilibrium node. Ooh, okay. Fixed an issue where Toad was not triggering stun when applying his 10th poison. That might improve Toad's, um, I, I don't know. He already seemed to be uh, decent. And I haven't used him that much. I don't have him as a five star. But if he was supposed to be stunning people with his 10th poison and he wasn't, ooh, okay. Angela's uh, SP3 ability description had duplicate. Okay, another uh, text change. Fix an issue where Yellow Jacket's slow on heavy was applying against skill champions. Ooh. So that might be a little nerf there. Um, and made improvements to a situation where Ghost was not able to phase quickly enough after using a special attack and was taking damage from recoil while using her synergy with Hood. Hallelujah. Finally they will be fixing this issue. That, for me, is huge, because I love Ghost, and the whole reason that I used Ghost with Hood was so that I could phase out that recoil. That's huge. That is huge. For me, that is probably the biggest bug fix of this entire version this entire patch. All right, so that is gonna do it, guys, for this video. Thank you all for watching. Uh, as again, I said, you will get this when the embargo is lifted. I will upload this, and it will be scheduled uh, for when the embargo is lifted. So take care, and you all have a blessed day.